Hello everyone, so I decided to create a short instructional video to talk you through question one and question three. The reason I chose question one and question three is because question two is similar to question one and question four is similar to question three. Okay, so here you have gasoline refineries in a country are forced to stop their operations due to a hurricane hitting the area. Okay, this will cause a decrease in supply. Okay, so the supply curve will shift to the left. Supply will decrease from S to S1. This will create a shortage. As you can see, the shortage is if you extend the line from the original equilibrium price, this is the shortage between those two points here. That's the size of the shortage. The shortage will push the price up. Any shortage will exert an upward pressure on the price. Therefore, the price of gasoline will slowly rise. It is this rise in price that brings the market back to equilibrium. So this rise in price will signal to and incentivize the producers to increase quantity supply, not supply. The supply curve has already shifted. Now it's price that's causing the market to come back to equilibrium. So the proper terminology is the rise in price will signal and incentivize producers to increase quantity supplied, which is this upward movement along the S1 curve right here. Okay, this is a um, this is basically this upward movement, the supply curve, is uh, an increase in quantity supplied, and it will also signal to and incentivize consumers to decrease quantity demanded, not demand, because the demand curve hasn't shifted. This is an upward movement along the demand curve. Okay, so it's very important to know when to use the word demand and when to use the word quantity demanded. If the demand curve shifts, we say there has been a change in demand. If there is a movement along the demand curve, we say there has been a change in quantity demanded. The same with supply. If there's a change in supply, this will be represented by a shift of the supply curve. But if there is a, a movement along the supply curve, we say there has been a change in quantity supplied. Okay. So I just want to talk you through um, the terminology and how to describe this accurately. So this brings us to question three, all right? If you read question three, it says, new producers of desktop computers enter the market and the expectations of producers are that prices will be falling. So these changes in the non-price determinants of supply will cause supply to increase. Supply increases from S to S1, so it shifts to the right from S to S1. This shift of supply will create a surplus. So this creates a surplus. Again, extend the line from the original equilibrium price P. All right? The surplus does the opposite of a shortage. The surplus will actually exert a downward pressure on the price. So it pushes the price down. Therefore, the price of desktop computers will slowly fall. This gradual fall in price is what brings the market back to equilibrium. This fall in price will signal to and incentivize producers to decrease quantity supplied, shown as a downward movement along the S1 curve. I'm highlighting the arrow here. Okay? Um, and then it will also signal and incentivize consumers to increase quantity in mandate. There's a surplus. We want to incentivize consumers to purchase more, to increase their quantity in mandate. This is shown as a downward movement along the demand curve. So once again, initially you start with a shift that creates a shortage or a surplus. This shortage or surplus will then cause a change in price. Either price will rise or fall. This rise or fall in price will then cause movements along both the demand and the supply curve to bring the market back to equilibrium. Once you have shifted the curve and price is beginning to change, then after that, what's actually changing is the quantities demanded and the quantity supplied, not demand and supply, okay? So here, you just say supply has increased initially from S to S1, which has created a surplus, which has pushed the price down. This fall in price will gradually increase quantity demanded and will gradually decrease quantity supplied until the market um, comes back to equilibrium and this surplus is cleared. Please contact me if you have any questions and make sure you know when to use the words quantity demanded, when to use the word demand, when to use the word quantity supplied, and when to use the word supply. If you have any other questions, please contact any of us. Have a great one.